Hi there. So first, we're going to do the tests for anterior talofibular ligament sprain. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to just check for heat. You're going to look at the foot, see if it's really swollen. But sometimes it's swollen and you can't see it. But you'd feel it with the heat or with some of the tests we're going to do. You're going to, it's going to be noted there. So here you're going to go. You're going to touch one foot and touch the other foot. You want to use the back of your hand because that's going to have a more constant temperature than your palm. So after you do that, the first test you're going to do is passive supination. You lift your elbow up high, you grip the foot, and then you go down with a rotation, an inversion, and you're taking it into a supinated position and do a little extra uh, motion. I'm going to show you on the other foot if you get the other angle. So here you're lifting your elbow way up so that you can hold the foot so that your fingers and your thumb are on opposite sides and you're not like this so you're squishing the person's bottom of their foot. So here you are, you're holding it and you come down, you're rotating, take it down a little bit into plantar flexion and do a little rotation with inversion and then a little extra if there's no pain. If there's pain you do not do that but you do a little over pressure if there is any pain. So next uh, you're going to do plantar flexion which is holding the hand under the heel here with your palm to make it a softer feel. Take it flat down like that and give it a little jerk if that's not hurting and then dorsiflexion and boom like that a little bit and then the final, now those two tests the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion what they're telling you is if there's swelling. If there's swelling you're not going to be able to do this. It's going to be very limited and this one's going to be limited and it's going to be a little bit painful and of course you stop immediately when there's any pain. Then we're going to do the draw test which sees if there's any uh, instability or rupture. You hold the, just above the ankle, you press down as you're pulling up with the heel. So you very gently, very slowly, you push down with one hand and up with the other, down and then up at the same time and if that causes a fear reaction, a pain reaction, you don't do any overpressure. You just do it generally, gently, very slowly. You're pulling the heel forward, you're pushing, keeping the, the uh, lower leg down. And if the anterior talofibular ligament is ruptured, this is going to move and it's also going to be uncomfortable for the person. So let's go over that one more time, uh, just so that uh, it's clear. And you're going to go lift your elbow, hold, and then drop down holding the heel with the other hand, rotating it, plantar flexing it, inverting it, and then a little bit of an extra, uh, extra motion at the end with a little rotation also. Then you can do the plantar flexion or dorsiflexion in any order, it doesn't matter. Here we'll go the other way now. We'll go dorsiflexion, and then if there's no pain, a little overpressure, just a little bit, and then plantar flexion down here, and then a little extra. And then we're going to do the draw sign here. You're going to push down, and lift up at the same time. And of course you're going to do the heat test, testing from one foot to the other. You usually do that first. Okay.